NASA is describing it as a wonderful and rare sight. The planet Venus is slowly passing in front of the sun today, an event that won't be seen again for another 105 years. It has special significance for sky watchers here. Australia is one of the best places on the Earth to watch the spectacle. Andrew Jacob is the assistant curator of the Sydney Observatory. Well, it's an important event because for, for most of us now, this will be our last chance to see it until 2117, which I guess for most of us it means we're not going to see another one. Um, it's also important in that it has some scientific um, usefulness this time around. Uh, the early transits were used for determining the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Um, in 2004, there wasn't a lot of science that we were doing with the transit. It was a matter of historical interest and a great spectacle. Now again in 2012, there is some science that we can do with it. And what extra knowledge could that, uh, could that give us by doing that? In sp specifically, what we can do is look at how the, the atmosphere of Venus affects the transmission of light coming from the Sun. Uh, one way this is being done is through the Hubble Space Telescope, but other telescopes are also observing this. The Hubble Telescope can't look at the sun directly, it's far too bright. The Hubble Telescope is looking at the moon and seeing the reflected light from the sun. It's going to try and detect how the atmosphere of Venus affects the transit and the way we measure the transit. Um, if we have that sort of measurement done here, in a position where we know how big Venus is, we know what Venus's atmosphere is like, we know what the Sun looks like, then we can apply that new knowledge um, to the extrasolar planets. And hopefully that'll give us a much better handle on what's actually happening with those extrasolar pl um, planets transiting their stars. And it's a little bit cloudy in Sydney uh, today, but if you're lucky enough to, to live somewhere where there are clear skies, what's the best and the safest way to see this? So the best and safest way would be to use uh, solar glasses, which many people around here at the observatory have today, or you could use the uh, projection method. If you have binoculars or a telescope, you can stand with your back to the sun and project the light through those binoculars or the sm or small telescope, up to a few inches in diameter, and project the light through that telescope onto a white card um, in the background. You'll be able to see the sun as an image on that white card and a little black spot about one thirtieth the size of the sun's diameter. That little black spot will track across the sun. It's going to happen all through the day, um, finishes up around 2.45 this afternoon. Definitely don't look through those binoculars or uh, telescope at the sun. You'll be blinded pretty much instantly. Um, you can, but those projection methods or the solar glasses are quite safe methods to use. Andrew Jacob, good to talk to you, thank you. Thank you.